Hi, this is Mike with the next installment of the 5-Minute Message. Today we're going to be talking about the call of every believer. And I believe every believer has a call upon their life, something foundational that they need to be attaining to. It's not, not something we need to let slip, but every single Christian is called to this. And it's something that the Bible refers to as intercession. Now before you re go reaching for the switch to shut this off, because many would say, well, I'm not an intercessor, so why would I even need to hear something like this? We really need to know that intercession is called, every believer is called to intercession at some level. And uh, because there's a, been a, a thing that's creeped in, an idea that, uh, well, intercession is just for intercessors and they, they meet on Tuesday nights or whatever, and that's not for me. Uh, well, that's really like saying, well, it's it's a good thing we have worship leaders on Sunday morning so they can do all of our worship for us so we don't have to worship. Or some saying something like, well, it's a good thing we have evangelists so I don't have to share my faith or anything because we have people that do that for us. It simply doesn't, doesn't uh, add up. And so we're all called to pray at some level, even if it's praying for our own families, it's praying for our church, praying for our leaders, praying for our country. We're all called to pray. And intercession simply is... Uh, focus prayer for others. There's other types of prayer that, that where you're praying for your own needs, and those, and those are all fine. But when we talk about intercession, we're talking about focused prayer for someone else in some other situation. And it, and it says in Luke 18 that uh, Luke was talking about a, uh, a parable that Jesus told. And this is what he said. He's getting ready to, to kind of lead into this parable in Luke 18. He says, uh, then he spoke a parable to them and that men always ought to pray and not lose heart. Always ought to pray. Paul said that pray, praying with all prayer, uh, pray without ceasing. These are things that we need to attend to. We need to understand that we all have a call to this. Uh, uh, and it's not just for certain people. There are people that are called to be intercessors, and we bless them, and I, I'm one of them. And and, uh, but there, there is an understanding that we need to get that intercession is for everyone. It's, it's not just something that's, that's a, uh, something that's getting us ready for the real ministry. Uh, there was a guy named Oswald Chambers who said it this way. He said, uh, prayer does not prepare us for the greater work. Prayer is the greater work. Uh, so we need to understand it's, it's every believer's, and, and many would say, well, I'm so busy. I'm, 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 I'm working in this ministry and that ministry, and I'm serving here and I'm serving there. Those are all, all very good, but intercession should be a foundation for every ministry, every outreach, every church. Everything that we're called to do in the kingdom of God should have a foundation. This is the reason that Jesus stayed up all night and prayed and interceded and then ministered in the power of the Spirit all day that in the next days because he knew that prayer had to be a foundation. It was the launching pad for everything in the kingdom. So, so uh, let's, let's make sure we attend to it and not let it slip in our own lives. Uh, there was a, a pastor named... Uh, Pastor Cho in Korea, who's a pastor of the largest church in the world, and he said something to this effect. He said, you can remove the preaching from our church, you can remove the cell ministry, you can remove all the other aspects of our church, and our church will go on. But if you remove the prayer ministry from our church, our church will cease to exist. This is so we understand that it's everybody's call to pray. It's everyone's call to to bring others before the throne of God so that he can move in their life. So I hope this has been an encouragement to you. I hope you'll take some time today to pray for someone that you love, pray for your family, pray for someone that God would put on your heart, and God will use it mightily. And so I hope this has been a blessing to you, and we'll see you next time.